Hello my YouTube friends. Today I would like to um, have a have a discussion, have a chat about my uh, my turf roofs. I've become a huge fan of, of turf roofs in the in the course of these projects for really good sound reasons. They're f phenomenal in the winter. The turf is a natural insulator, but all, not only that, the weight of the turf really um, protects against the battering of the wind. We live in a, a very exposed place here and the turf is just phenomenal at protecting the building and keeping it sound and secure. And when it rains really heavily, the noise is, is really therapeutic because it's deadened by the weight of the turf. So the turf is a great natural insulator and it's a great protector of the fiberglass roofs that I make from the UV rays, UV light, which is the main thing that will break down um, the polyurethane resins over time is, is UV. So they normally get a 25 year guarantee and they expect a sort of 50 year lifespan, I think, with, a, with polyurethane fiberglass roofs. But <clears throat> if it's protected from the UV by turf, and protected from the extremes of hot and cold by the turf, then I don't see why that lifespan isn't indefinite. So when you're building a structure and there's always going to be some impact to the environment and fiberglass resins aren't good for the environment, but it's somehow mitigated if that usage is then carried on for a long period of time. So that is my intention today is explain my learning curve with um, with turf roofs, how I construct them, um, and 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 what has worked for me and what hasn't worked for me. Okay, thank you. So here we have the turf house, not the turf house, the roundhouse, which was the first turf roof that I made, which is fiberglass with um. You can see the fiberglass coming out the bottom there. I had intended for the turf, and I think it slowly will with the sedum to completely cover it so you can't see the fiberglass at all. But it's not obtrusive, and there's a ridge around the edge which keeps the turf in place. Now, this is just shiny fiberglass finish, and the turf actually grips to it well enough to be on a really, really steep angle there, and, and it's done two years now and not budged. So it's, it's knitted itself together really, really well. Now, what is important with a turf roof, because of the weight, I don't know if we can see in here, I'll let it adjust to the light. You've got to have a substantial structure to hold the roof up. So I'm estimating there's about a ton and a half of turf up there. So these um, posts are really strong. There's no more than a two foot centers between them. And with the inch boards, and then the fiberglass has its own integral strength as well, that seems to be enough to hold the roof up. So what's worked and what hasn't worked with this particular roof? Being my first construction, I didn't understand the importance of the type of soil that you use. So I use soil I managed to scavenge from around, which was very, very clayey. It had a lot of clay in it. Now it holds very little water. And we're in the middle of a drought here in the north of England. And you can see the difference in the grass that I used here was some black soil. and But most of the roof was this clay fell grass. And it isn't fair in particular well. It looks fine and it'll, it'll do and it'll do forever and it does the job. But... In hindsight, I would have used a much darker, better topsoil. Um, but yeah, so when it rains, or if you water this, the water runs off really quickly. So my second attempt was the toilet block here. And this is um, a much flatter roof. And I only used about an inch of topsoil. And then you can buy mats which have the grass seed already impregnated into them. And they were quite cheap, so I rolled those mats out and sandwiched them between um, just about an inch, an inch and a half of soil. Well, 
it's okay but it dries out very quickly it looks fine um, but this this shed can't take a lot of weight so I've used sedum as well and the sedum is doing phenomenally well so that's a very good lesson if you've got um, a structure that can take a huge amount of weight so you can't have a big depth of soil then the sedum is the perfect um, plant to put on there and it's just growing and flowering and looks incredibly beautiful and um, and it has the same protection of course for the fiberglass for the fiberglass roof as the uh, as the deep turf but it's not as good an insulator it doesn't matter in the toilet block the insulation value but in the um, sleeping accommodation obviously that's a much bigger thing so the sedum is fabulous on the thin um, turf roof but it's got its limitations now here's a close-up of some sedum in situ on the roundhouse and I've started planting that around the edge because it's it's um, it's much better at hanging on there and um, and covering up the fiberglass edge now putting all these lessons together uh, is what I've used to make the roof and the walls of the turf house so as you can see we're in the middle of a drought but it's still the grass is still really really healthy and this has been achieved by really good depth and a good quality of topsoil so I bought the topsoil it wasn't expensive from a local building site they had a big stack of about 200 tons of um, soil they'd removed um, and kept because they were going to use some of it in gardens but they had far too much they'd had to remove it for for doing the foundations for all the houses so I think I paid about £10 a tonne for it and then um, I used because you can't just put topsoil on a fiberglass roof and hope it'll just stay there it'll wash off in the first rain so what I did was fill I've got one here um, which I'll dangle in front of the camera a hessian sack with the topsoil now these sacks are available on eBay they're not too expensive and you can buy them in boxes of a hundred and the hessian is a natural material so it will biodegrade over time so it holds you soil together while the grass roots get established and then will rot away and leave you with just a fabulous turf roof that's the plan anyway so another lesson that I've learned is the quality of the grass seed is very important now I spent quite a lot of money on a meadow mix grass seed which contains uh, flowers as well as the grasses and it's great for the butterflies it's great for nature and I absolutely love that and it just looks so much better to have a diversification of of plants and flowers in your roof is just absolutely awesome and you can see this is the sun side and you can see that the hessian sacks are still visible this has had about three months of growth now and this side is the side that's drying out the fastest um, but we do rain tomorrow so it should be fine so again the construction is no more than a two foot centers with nice big um, posts and then inch thick wooden boards and then fiberglass um, on top now I'll show you the fiberglass in a second so this is a piece of fiberglass that I cut out for the chimney to go through but it's great because it shows the construction um, of, of the fiberglass roofing material so you put the polyurethane resin onto the boards and then there's two layers of the thick fiberglass matting roofing matting and then one layer of the resin the the, the finished resin the top coat resin which is the gray color and then sand 
that's all I use and that gives it this rough surface that the grass can um, really grip to um, and then another layer of the roofing um, gel coat finish so that's two layers of fiberglass um, with plenty of resin because you only have one go at this if you make a mistake and it leaks you've got to dig back down to it and mend it and that is something you really don't want so you, it's best to overdo it in the first place so lots of fiberglass lots of resin really soak it in and then two layers of the top coat with a layer of sand just dried ordinary builder sand sprinkled on not much of it in between and that creates this fantastic rough um, finish and it written the hessian sacks really 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 grip to that really well so I really hope I've covered the main points and it's taken some this uh, a turf roof doesn't have to be complicated it's just basically a waterproof roof whether that's fiberglass or another material of your own choosing and then soil and nature by its very nature just can't wait to get established you know it doesn't take any um, real effort you just spread the seeds on and then you have to be patient which I'm not very good at and this is the result you get it's it's it just can't help but grow and it's incredibly practical because it protects the building underneath and this one is there's there's a lot of weight of turf up there and it, and it holds the heat it's not just an insulator it's like a storage heater once that's warm it's warm for hours even after the fire's gone out okay thank you very much indeed for your time thank you for um listening to me ramble on again and um any questions um don't hesitate to um put them into the comments below and i'll do my very best to answer them thank you very much